Hello people, Barry here, your favorite European booktuber, and um, what is this? It is a case of the Star Universe. So before we get into why I bought it, which uh, some of you may be interested in, uh, most of you already left uh, this video, just wanted to say that I'll, I, I strongly believe, and we'll go over that, but uh, I strongly believe uh, the Star Universe was the best set of uh, Sword and Shield, uh, especially when it comes to Japanese. Uh, EV viewers closed. Um, I mean, you could argue them. They're, they're, they're pretty much on the same level. But uh, Vistar Universe for the open experience, which is also part of uh, one of the variables why I picked up a case. Uh, it's just amazing with uh, every pack having a hit. And uh, as SM Brad, I'm quoting SM Brad here, uh, potentially the best set uh, ever to be released by Pokemon. Uh, and uh, I totally agree with it. Uh, it's, you know, I'm not a huge fan of vintage. The only vintage card I would like to own is the Gold Star Ray, but who wouldn't? Um, and uh, I'm a fan of Black and White because that's uh, the era I grew up with. Black and White, that's the one I remember the most. I was about 10 years old. So I don't have a uh, huge experience with vintage, but the artwork in Fixed Universe, and I'm curious to know what you think about it, so let me know in the comments. The artworks in Vista Universe are, in my opinion, some of the best artworks ever to be made by the Pokemon company. Now, why did I buy it? So, obviously, this is part of why I bought it. Uh, what you could ask me is, Barry, why did you buy it now? Now, to, to answer that, let's go over some data. So, here we are on uh, price charting. So, before we get into this, Right now on Sneaker Dunk, you can get it for $56. Now, if you're not aware, as I said, I'm your favorite European package tuber, period. Uh, I'm in Italy, and uh, Sneaker Dunk does not ship to Italy. It's not shipped to the European Union, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this price obviously does not include custom fees. Uh, and here it's called uh, VAT, VAT, uh, over there in the US it's called sales tax, which is about twice here in the European Union, which is different for every country. Uh, in Italy, it would be 22%. So imagine being in the US and having to pay 22% in sales tax. Exactly. that That's what I think every time uh, I have to import. So market price, you know, if you're in the US, it could be about, uh, you know, $60. Then it's also shipping. I, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with uh, sneaker dump ship, shipping policy. Uh, but Probably you could get it for around $65 to $60. Not sure. Let me know in the comments. Uh, in the U, and we'll take a look at it in just a second after this, uh, you can get it right now at uh, lowest is 70 euros, uh, which obviously if you factor in 20% here, it's about a bit over like $11. So we're at 67, then there's shipping, then there's custom fees, which are about 2 to 3%, uh, and then you have to pay for carrier's fee, which you know, the, the carrier will do all the paperwork, which is, is usually a fixed amount. When you import, uh, it depends on the carrier, is usually about $15 euros. And I think it might also depend on uh, on um, the country uh, you import in. But nonetheless, this is where Vistar Universe is at uh, right now. Now, if we take a look at the uh, price chart here, uh, which you could argue it may not be the best price to, I mean, the, the best place to look at uh, sales data. Unfortunately for Japanese, that's the best one we have, or at least the best one we have as I'm aware of. So let me know if you, if you know any any better place for Japanese boxes, historical data. Uh, this is, I don't know if it's, it might be um, sales in the US. I don't know. But nevertheless, as I always say, when you import from Japan, you know, they're going to be right about the same price. Um, again, if, you know, in the U, you know you're gonna pay more than what they sell in the US because of sales tax when you import, but they're gonna be right around the same price. Now, we've seen that out of the gate, we're selling for about $100. Then uh, I genuinely don't remember this. I don't even know if this is actual, uh, you know, if it's real data, uh, if it's not something that went wrong with data, I don't remember to be honest. Uh, but I do remember it at sitting about $100, 100 euros, right before the reprint. Now. With the reprint, we, I talked about it with uh, members in the Discord, which I recommend join, it's absolutely free. Um, and uh, I don't ever remember it dropping below 60 euros either. Come out of the gate, I think MSRP 
on this is 5,500 yen, which should be around $30, 30 euros, $30, 28, right about $30, I think, 35, depends. Also, you're also on the exchange rate, as we know, well, yen is not really been stable, but this is not a macroeconomic uh, channel, as I'm not a macroeconomist. So from here, what I gather was the fact that demand has always been strong for this set, $100, always been a hundred dollars now we know we come out of a hot Japanese market that cooled off and uh, people are not into Japanese as they used to be however look at this this box ain't going below seventy dollars now it doesn't mean it's not gonna go below seventy dollars a month from now tomorrow it might it, it probably will I don't know but what, what I see, all the data I can get from this chart is that people like this set. Uh, how do I know they like this set? Price always been above MSRP and uh, it's, it's been well above MSRP. So price is oftentimes an indicator of demand and price here is telling me, is suggesting me that demand has been good for this set. Now, this is more than the technicals. Remember everything I talked about in the beginning of the video, the artworks, blah, blah, blah. I strongly, obviously when it comes to artworks, it's uh, personal, subjective, my opinion, as well as SM Pratt's, potentially one of the best sets ever to be made by Pokemon. Let alone that uh, I should make a video actually, now that I think about it, and see how specialty sets have performed over time when it comes to Japanese. Uh, I went back and looked at a previous set uh, Tag Team GX All-Star, which is obviously the GOAT, uh, probably close to Vista Universe, in my opinion, when it comes to artworks. Uh, then there's uh, VMAX Climax, uh, Shiny V. Uh, VMAX Climax is pretty good. Uh, we talked about it in the Discord. We ranked it better than uh, Shiny Treasure EX. But anyways, uh, I'm, I'm ranting here, as always. So I, I talk too much, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I just, I can't help it, but uh, I don't... This is not scripted. I just pretty much try to remember what I wanted to say and uh, I just say it. So hope you guys appreciate this format. Uh, if not, I'm sorry, I'll try to make it better. Just, just let me know in the comments. So here taking a look at European data. If you don't know what this is, uh, we're in the Discord and uh, I highly recommend you watch this video. Should be popping up uh, on top of my face uh, about uh, what this is. Uh, there's a playlist and I'll go over that in much more detail. So. This as you see is supplied for recent years in the European Union. This is what, um, a bit over a month of worth of data, almost two months actually worth of data, end of May, or um, we passed uh, mid-July. So almost two months worth of data. So here, huge sell-off, uh, I mean, not sell-off, this is supply ramp, it's not price obviously. Uh, but about 200 bucks is gone in uh, 10 days. This is supply in the market. And this is supply taken out of the market. So I basically bought when it was here and these are boxes. Um, so total listings. So it's pretty interesting. And this is telling me that people want this set. People like the set, you know, look at this uh, supply going out of the market, then supply stepping into the market. Once again, supply taken out of the market, probably a large seller into the market. Uh, we, we can now, with the new developments in the in the bot, we can now look at uh, market death, which we'll take a look at in just a second. And then once again, supply taking out of the market. So supply seems to, you know, people seem to like the set, they seem to be buying it. So if you ever wonder, well, will I be able to to sell my, my, my boxes? This bot, which is obviously, it's not only for recent units, it applies to all English sort and shield current value sets, or well, I have data for that. Uh, I have daily data, this is daily data and you can see if they sell. Answer, yes, they do sell. Um, so, and this is price. So as you can see, price has been, this uh, blue line here is the average of the four lowest prices for the listings. And it's been pretty much steady mid 60s. And now it is slowly going higher. Now what's more interesting, so here we have volume. So, you know, on a interval, price interval, we can see how many boxes there are and this is for today data, uh, there's still quite some volume sitting at uh, about 70, 70 to $75, as you can see here. This is the $70 to $75 interval, 
and there's mustard supplies here. Now, what's this? We'll go over that in just a second with the more, you know, this market death, we can go into more death as well. Uh, that's what I like to develop in my free time. I do this stuff, I code the spot and it's absolutely free. Here, the another market death and uh, what's this? So every dot, every point here represents a listing. So this is price, this is the number of boxes. What does this dot mean? This dot means that at about 110 euros, there's one listing with 200 boxes. Remember that volume here? That's this guy. So this guy, as a matter of fact, is from the United Kingdom, right? And uh, so it doesn't apply to the EU because we don't really buy from the UK after Brexit. Why did you leave us? Ser seriously, if you're, if you're British and you're watching, why? 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 But uh, as you can see, second listing with the most supply is right about 50 boxes and it's uh, in the mid 70s as you can see here and then there's about 20 25 27 boxes per listing uh, if we go on to this logic so who has the most supply and again once again uh, mid 70s uh, 90s and then uh, mid 100 so obviously with my case i'll be seen here and obviously if i want to sell with a case which is what i would want to do in the future uh, i will charge a premium so that's about it when it comes to supply I mean, what one you may say, Barrett, that's not the total supply of the market. I know, absolutely no. Uh, assuming this is the total number of bucks out there would be stupid, uh, which I think I'm not. At least I'm, I try not to be or not to appear like it. Uh, but uh, that's what's up. That's all the data I can work with. Uh, I took my decision with uh, the most data I could have, which obviously, again, I, this I built it myself. I built it for myself and for you. Uh, so take advantage while, while it's free, blink, blink. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's uh, that's the informal decision I make. And uh, I hope this thought process can help you guys. If it does, let me know. Uh, I could go into much more detail uh, because this is not a decision I took uh, in 10 minutes. I thought about it. Uh, I already mentioned why, you know, artworks, best set ever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like a supply, that kind of crap, blah, blah, blah. That's part of my thinking process. Uh, I don't want to bore you too much because uh, none of you is going to watch this video either way because uh, uh, YouTube doesn't spam you. Um, I'm ranting. Sorry, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.